Okay. Morning, everyone. Today is the 27th of April. In South Africa, is the Freedom Day. And uh, we, as we celebrate uh, Freedom Day, it's how it started was uh, back in 1994 when the South Africa held the first democratic election to commemorate the change of the system into a democracy in South Africa. So we celebrate uh, Freedom Day today. And in South Africa, there are quite a few holidays in March, April. Uh, you have your Human Rights Day on the 21st of uh, March and then you have your Easter weekend normally from Friday to Monday and then uh, then towards the end of April beginning of uh, May there's a Freedom Day and the uh, 1st of May is the Labor Day so your yeah, Workers Day we took the opportunity to do another road trip this time to Matikwe uh, we're going to be staying at uh, Motriri uh, Private Safari Lodge we haven't been to near Botswana border before or Madikwe and it's the first time so we're quite looking forward to it. Join me and uh, as we look at uh, what's on this road trip and uh, on the way it's, uh, it's about four hours drive uh, from here where we are, Joburg, uh, four ways to the lodge we're going to stay in. It's about four hours drive and on the way we are going to go through places like Hartbeer's Putem and the Rustenburg, the mining town and then we're going to also visit uh, Zeras uh, the town in northwest uh, for the first time. From there we go take a, a route north to Madikwe. So our right here is uh, Lansira Airport. Uh, I used to come here early morning to fly to Durban or Cape Town. But since COVID started, I haven't flown. Um, yeah, so I don't know when we're going to fly again, but uh, you can see the, the airport uh, in the far side. Uh, this is Lansira and this area, this is a small uh, international airport. Uh, but this area is uh, growing, a uh, lot of development, land development and uh, real estate, uh, residential estate uh, development around here. And this is the road to the airport. This is the renowned Lion and Safari Park near Johannesburg. A lot of uh, international tourists will come here um, to have the safari experience. By South African standard, this safari park is rather small, uh, but uh, you're guaranteed to see lions. Very convenient, you spend a couple of hours, a few hours, and uh, you have the safari experience. We're, we're taking a detour, and there's cars coming and uh, telling us that the road is closed. So yeah, all of us, uh, I'm just following the, the road, the, the cars in front of us and uh, to get to the other side and uh, to see where this takes us. So, <laughs> the kind of uh, the bush experience uh, starts earlier than I thought. Yeah, in South Africa, when we do the safari, we call it, uh, the, uh, we go to the bush. As we continue on this uh, road, uh, you can see it's quite dusty. Uh, the cars in front of us and uh, behind us, just on this road. Uh, hopefully, we can be getting onto the paved road soon.
Okay, yeah, now we're back to to the paved road. Uh, a bit of a detour, a bit of an unexpected uh, adventure. But now uh, we back onto our path, hopefully. We are entering the area of Hot Beersport Dam. And you can see the far side the mountain but uh, just below the mountain is the happiest Buden. so it's on, on the way to Rustenburg uh, around this area Hatbis Buden, there's a lot of um, kind of outdoor activities restaurants uh, kids play area uh, some shopping centers uh, like uh, uh, open space uh, markets that people can uh, shop trade stuff and also on the side of the roads you can see there are, there are traders that sell all kinds of stuff and uh, to our right here is the entrance to a prestigious uh, golf uh, estate uh, Pecanwood and that's just by the Hot Beers Put Dam all right so, so we're very soon we're going to get on to N4 uh, but uh, we see the beautiful hot beers put them in front of us and uh, just now we should be crossing the dam we are crossing the dam the dam many to our right and uh, to our left but uh, to my surprise there's a lot of algae uh, growing kind of a on the surface or, or maybe uh, some growth yeah, there's been some uh, persistent problems of sewage around the stand Halfway through our journey, it's two hours since we started, and uh, we have uh, arrived at uh, Rustenburg. You can see big shopping centers on the left, and also many houses and uh, residential areas. Uh, 
south of uh, where you want to go, you know, Madikwe. So yeah, we're going to find a place for for lunch because right now it's about quarter past twelve. Uh, I don't expect to find uh, fine dining cuisine stuff, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we can find uh, to fill the stomach. First. Wonderful gate uh, on the way to Matikwe.
special. 所以你只要会 press 那个 button， get 就会。Oh, okay. You get lost there. Oh, you get lost. Yes. And then, guys, while you enjoying your drinks, you might want to come to open your car, and then uh, yeah. Ernest will take uh, the bags to the room. Okay. I'll show you. Around.